Yeah, it's Ted Barrett Laundromat How To. Just want to go over uh, some of the video editing I do when I get any damage or vandalism. So last night we had a guy come in and um, put a t-shirt over the bathroom door in one of our stores and light it on fire. Fortunately, it didn't really catch. Did a bit of smoke damage, but um, it's still an attempted arson charge because if it had picked up on some paint or something and started, you know, we would have been coming into a burned out building today. So some of the messages I use on this is uh, I use a program called um, is it screen screencast omatic I've used it for about 10 years there's other versions out there other uh, methods but this one I've just got used to so I use it quite a bit um, around this screen here you move it here I put a box on here that I can move around the screen and show you different stuff normally I don't record videos I'm not gonna record the entire camera view because I don't want anybody who might see this to know how much coverage I have per camera so I'll zoom in more. Uh, this particular one, like I said, I can't adjust the screen size while I'm running, but I may just, you know, like I said, cut this out, cut some of the times out, and just narrow it down to what I want to see. So in this case here, um, what I'm looking to do on this is I want to bring in the whole, there's going to be a long video that shows pretty much the whole six or eight minutes he was in there. I might jump around a little bit, but uh, you want to have a good comprehensive video for the police, and then I'll make a shorter um, 20 30 second one that just shows some some of the issues and some close-ups and then that one I can use on Facebook I can use on the TV monitors in the stores um, and it, it gives something where the police want to look through it they can see a quick scan if it gets more to the charges they see the full scan and then I'll also <coughs> I'll also include the raw video that I pull down from each of the different cameras so that um, if it does get into a, something a little more lengthy then they've got the unedited video so you don't run into that, well, what happened here? Why'd you cut this out? Um, but again, you don't want the police to have to sit through four different camera angles and spend an hour and a half getting the information you can give them in 30 seconds or a minute. So I'd rather do the work, make their job easier, get results faster. So this guy came in, um, wandered back. See him walking in here with this green t-shirt on his shoulder, hung it on the bench for a little bit. And then he uh, he got up and walked back this way. And what I'll do now is I'll just pull in the other video that I've got that I run off. So I run two different systems in here. One is the ring camera. It's a quick and easy way to kind of scrub video and be able to um, get through and see stuff fast. And then my other one, it's a, it's called a Zosi. It's just a cheapo, you know, $300 system from Amazon. Works okay. Gives pretty good video for the cost of it. And uh, it's a little, a little temperamental at times. But uh, once you get used to it, you can't get through it. So... What happens here is, I can, I'll leave it that size just so it doesn't blow out of the screen. But what happens here is, back to the play here if I can. I don't know this works. Okay, so he's coming down here with the t-shirt. And just let it play for a few minutes there. You can kind of see what happens. I mean, I don't think you can get much more intentional than this. I don't know if I need too much commentary here. I'm going to see what he's, I mean, again, if this shirt had a cot and just lit up, by the time he got out the door, we would have had, you know, a lot of issues back in this corner. It's just a masonite door. Um, we just put it on. It had been damaged, so it hasn't even got painted yet. <clears throat> and from here, we just pause that one and step back to the other camera. And what you'll see is he actually, um, So he's he's lit it on fire at this time, and he just went down and actually hang on, let me back up a little bit. This when he uh, bounced back a bit there. So he just went back and sat on the bench and just kind of waited to see what had happened. And then uh, eventually, it appears I haven't got through the whole video yet. Is that he actually went back because the shirt didn't really catch fire? and then tossed in a garbage can, which could have caused more problems in there, and then left. So um, my cleaner spotted the problem, the damage this morning. I got on onto my phone and got some quick sh shots from, uh, the ring camera was, was quick to get into, but I was able to access, one, access this one from my phone, and I could send him a snapshot of him actually lighting that shirt on fire. 
and then two or three pictures of front and side angles. So by the time the police got there, they had a description they could put in the report. Um, that'll get filed today. Tomorrow I'll get a call from an investigator, and by then I'll have this video, still pictures, and all the information in there. I'll just, uh, so I called up, so I can find it here again. One of the previous ones I've done before. Thought I had it open, but I'll just, uh, just go back to one other one here. You know, toilet paper theft. There's a break-in from before. So this was, um, this is what I gave the police on a previous issue where I had a break and enter. So you give them this cover sheet. Again, they'll get this in a PDF form on the same thumb drive. They get this, gives the information, the case number. This makes it a lot easier for them. They can pair the two together as soon as they get it. The police will give you that when they first come out to do a report. Gives the details, three suspect arrives. Um, it gives the times, what was going on. And then, uh, you know, picture of their vehicle, picture of each subject with some details you know, who he was, what he was wearing, suspect number two, suspect number three, from different angles, wearing the Christmas socks. Um, they got back into a secure room. Since then, I've actually put a motion sensor and a ring camera in the hallway they got back, they came through. So I'll have alarms before they ever get to that door. And uh, they got in and just pried open the door. That's as far as they went. As soon as they opened that door, the alarm started going off. So they scattered, so... But um, I've since ran angle iron down on each side of this door, so they can't just pry into the door itself. There's uh, angle iron guards run down the door frame on one side on the door itself and the other side. So it take a lot longer to get into. And again, by the time they get back into the storage area, they've already got set the alarms off and they're, they've already triggered a ring camera video back there. Um, this camera here, it comes from Simply Safe. So uh, if if Simply Safe was to uh, Actually, this didn't at the time. I've added the Simply Safe camera. So if they open that door and it triggers that Simply Safe is going to see that camera video that there is somebody there and be able to alert the police that somebody is physically in the room. Some areas won't make a difference. Um, some areas, you know, it made, you know, the police now have visual confirmation that there was somebody in there. So <clears throat> that's what I use. I mean, this one here, it's a PDF. Um, it's just, I do it on PowerPoint or you can use the the online version of PowerPoint, the uh, Google Sheets, Google Forms, Google Docs, a few different ones out there. And then uh, I just print it with a PDF, Primo PDF, I think it is a free PDF printer program. Save it that way. And then, uh, like I said, I'll save all this, download all the video files, I'll put them all in one main file on my computer, so I've got them all in one spot. And then I'll, uh, I'll give a copy of thumb drive with all of this information. And usually I'll print it, that, that presentation, so they've got something physical in their hand. It's not in color. It's just real black and white laser, but it gives them the information. They got it in hand. They've got the thumb drive. And like I said, I put up in the TVs. Chances are they're going to know who the guy is. Um, <clears throat> partly because I know our local county, they, uh, anybody, if he's been arrested before, they photograph all his tattoos and they, they'll scan the pictures against their database and they can pull up suspects from there. But I'd be willing to bet the police already know who he is and probably already starting to track him down today. So fortunately it didn't take the store down, but it's uh, should be an obvious case of arson. So if you've got any, any questions or anything, let me know. I'll try and answer them as I can, and I'll uh, put, try and put some of the links and stuff in the bottom. And maybe if I remember, I'll put a link to the final finished one when I get up there. Talk to you soon.